We're on sprinkles. What a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Starting the day off right with a beautiful cup of coffee. Shout out to Troy over at TNT Roasters. More on that later. What a great cup of coffee that is though. I'm excited uh, where we're at in the season right now because the Monster Hive, this over eight foot colony that produced over 300 pounds of honey who didn't want to swarm and it was just one of those feed me see more scenarios where we were just throwing boxes on it. It kept building, kept building, kept building, didn't want to swarm. Uh, and they're just really, really prolific. And she's an old queen. She's a, actually a yellow dot queen. She was an emergency queen cell queen and has done phenomenal. Uh, and so I'm really excited that we're at the time of year where we're able to actually get into that colony, uh, find her and get good grafting material from her. We were able to, to uh, we've got right now, we've got over a hundred cells getting ready to hatch in the incubator for virgin material. So we can continue with our breeding program. Uh, we will open mate some of those, uh, but a lot of those we're actually going to inseminate with another one of our queen lines to bring the very best uh, together. And I'm really, really excited about that. Good equipment makes all the difference. We've been struggling for a few years with a kind of putting together the right incubator scenario for what we need. When we start fooling around with virgin queens though, and we need more room, more space, and a lot more of it, that's really where a cabinet style incubator really comes into play. And the reptile incubators just weren't cutting it. We were getting like a four to a six degree variance within the tiny reptile incubators. And we were cooking uh, some of the cells in the top part of it. The cells in the bottom of it were too cool. There was always the spot that was just right, which was right in the center. And that that's just, that's aggravating to say the least. Uh, so earlier this year, at the beginning of the season, a little birdie told me that there was a GQF 1500 in the clearance room down at Kelly's. Well, I was cruising through that neck of the woods to visit another beekeeper, stopped in, sure enough, there it was. And a uh, big shout out to the gals there at Kelly's, uh, AKA Man Lake down in Kentucky. Uh, they did a great job, took care of me. It's been a, a tremendous asset for us to really just to be able to just feed it, put as many cells as we can in it, have plenty of room to stack virgins in there for our breeding program here. So that has been really cool. I'm just, I'm so excited right now to see what this queen line will do. Let's show you a little bit of what we were getting into.
those pretty girls.